This video is for a 2000 Fleetwood Flare. The unit has right at uh, 36,000 miles on it. I'm going to walk around the outside. Just want to show that there's no uh, major dings, no major dents. Overall, it's a very nice unit. We're asking 31,990. First thing I like to point out, it does have the uh, on the slide out. Uh, the compartments underneath go right out with it. That's that's a pretty nice feature, especially if you got a bad back or something like that. Really gives you that opportunity so that you don't have to, you know, dig real deep. Um, unit does have what's called slam bag doors. You don't have to open or close. You just push them down. Got your storage here, low point uh, drains, dump valves. Everything's all in one location. Outside shower, Generac ultra quiet, 5500 watts. Um, there's a little bit of damage on that door. Nothing major, but it is there. They must have pulled a car or something like that. Well, that's why that grass skirt is there. Slide toppers, that's always a nice feature. Going to walk down on the inside. As you can see, uh, this unit here has a, a couch. It came out of a house. When it came in, the couch was missing. Uh, we do have an $800 credit that we can uh, use to put whatever you want to put back in there. We can get one that's made for an RV, or we could just leave it out and give you 800 bucks off. Whatever you'd like to do. We've got a dinette table over here. That does drop down into a bed. It's a very nice unit all the way through. It's just a, you know, it's overall it's an average unit. No major wear and tear. You know, there's no leaks on the unit. None that I can see anywhere. I'm going around the outer edge. You should do this on any coach that you look at when you're a buyer. Just walk around all the cabinets and just open them up and look. So that's why I'm doing this because it's actually the first time I've looked inside this personally myself. So open them up. That's for uh, that's ready satellite ready. It does have a uh, satellite on top. On the interior, there's a couple spots uh, maybe where some belt buckles had caught things like that. Pretty normal wear and tear for a 2000. Again, on the passenger side, um, some of those tears, we could probably get some of that fixed, I would imagine. Seats look like they're in great shape. Carpet looks like it's in great shape. Does have a uh, uh, electric uh, leveling jacks. Again, 35,800 miles on it. Here's another thing, the generator, that's 54 hours. That's incredible for a unit in this age. You never see units in this age with that lower hours. Just walk around the outside. Make sure you do this if you're looking at campers. It's the only advice I'd give anybody. Just go do what I'm doing. Just walk around the outside. Take a close inspection of the slides. All the outer edges of the roof. These are all areas that will leak. So, like I said, you gotta you gotta definitely keep an eye on things like that. You got a gas electric electric refrigerator. This is something that's nice. Pocket sliding doors. I'll show you how that works. Pocket sliding doors. Separated toilet from the shower. Bedroom, it's a queen bed. Lots of light in here. I guess I hope that shows up on the video. Tons of light inside this unit. You've got a shower with a bathtub in the bottom of it. A lot of units today, they take they get rid of the bath. The skylight over top. I'm six foot four. I would have absolutely no problem fitting inside that uh, shower. In the back here, you do have uh, 
full-size wardrobe that's about six feet across. It's a, just a huge wardrobe, six feet across and about 18 inches deep. If you have any questions about this unit, please contact Mike Simpkins. My phone number is 888-310-7744. My email is mike at gtwrv.com. Give me a